It's unfortunate I can't really show you guys how, well, oh, she's like trying to avoid, ah! Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a gummy worm feeding video. Richard, those aren't gummy worms. Those are hornworms. Um, no, these are gummy worms, but they don't taste like gummy worms at all. Oh, oh, wait, you ate one? Okay, well, I'm sorry you had to find out the hard way, but we call them gummy worms here on YouTube. Pekka, what's this called? That's a gummy worm. Thank you. Exotic Slayer, hey, what are these? Those are definitely gummy worms. Diane, hey, buddy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. What? They're gummy worms. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, you are all wrong. Uh, oh, we're the ones that are wrong? Seriously? Let's ask an actual scientist. Martin, what do you call these? That's a manduka sexta, or just gummy worm, aka the tobacco hornworm. Now, when it comes to nutrition values, the gummy worms are at 85% water, 9% protein. <coughs> uh, and okay, Martin, thank you. We, we get it. You're smart. Look, Richard, you can call them whatever you want, but it's been decided. They're called gummy worms now. Who so. decided that? <coughs> PetTube has decided they're gummy worms. That's it. That's it. I'm I'm leaving. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Leaving. Go back to your own channel. I That's am. fine. I'm going yeah, back to my channel. Yeah. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. I have an affiliate code. It's Cat10. Cat I use that code too. All right, buddy. Yep. That was weird. Um. So. We have tarantulas to feed some gummy worms too. Before we do that though, I did want to announce that the Tarantula Collective and I will be with Tarantula Cribs at the NARBC St. Louis Reptile Expo, November 13th and 14th. So if you wanna meet us and debate if they're gummy worms or hornworms with us in person, then come see us and it would be great to see you guys again. So yeah, okay, anyway, um, Let's just feed my tarantulas now, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off with my grandma stola that I just recently rehoused. Probably should water those plants. Just give this one a nice little water. Oops, sorry. Oh, where do you think you're going? No, 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 come on. You are going the wrong way, my friend. <sighs> Somehow this is Richard's fault. Okay. Stay. <laughs> Just like instantly run away. No! I guess we don't like water, huh? There you go. Oh, I think we want it. Awesome. All right, cool. So we got one down. Let's keep it moving. All right, this one's a little bit smaller, but. Oh, very bolty. We've kind of actually made a little hideout right there. Some of these worms are pretty small, so I think it will take it. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that was not a good shot. But there it is. I feel bad because it's gonna get a little wet, but I need to water this plant. Just go on higher ground. My pothos does pretty well in all my enclosures unless it's a species that I don't water that much and then I just kind of forget. So I'm really determined not to let them die in these enclosures. All right, this should be my grossa. Yes, it is. Right up here. Hello, hello. I bet you're hungry. All right, don't let us down. I realized that I forgot to say in my last video that this one is actually molting male. So I do believe that my grossa is a male, which is a little disappointing since it's such a difficult species to get a hold of, but I'm still really appreciative that I actually have it. And Grandma Stola grow extremely slowly. So it's not like our time with him is limited. I feel like we've got years and years and years ahead of us before he even is close to maturing. So that's a good thing about Grandma Stola. They just last forever. Okay, so we're gonna try to feed my Aphonopoma hensi female. This girl is about five or six years old now. She's a captive bred female. She's out, so I do think that she's hungry. Normally she's hiding. We will just drop her in a little treat and see what happens. Ah! 
girl, you're supposed to eat it, not strike at it. All right, I'm just gonna leave that in the enclosure with her because yeah, she's feeling feisty today. Give a little water. All right, girl, you uh, you do what you gotta do. Another Aphonopelma, I've got a couple today. This one is a lesser seen, lesser known, the Aphonopelma Stradarchi. I don't remember. It's an all black Aphonopelma though. And this one is very reclusive. But I would like to try to get her on camera today, and her appetite is typically pretty good, so we can try. That's all right. I do think that she will eat it later. In the meantime, I will just give her a little bit of water. It's unfortunate I can't really show you guys how, well. Oh, she's like trying to avoid. Ah, shit. I did not think that through. Um, she's pretty feisty, but yeah. Um, yeah, I forgot the water going in there would probably spook her to come out. Very gorgeous. Hello. You want a worm? I think she wants it. Oh! Nice, you can see her fang action from down below here. It's a pretty good angle, but yay, okay. I am happy that she ate for us. We're gonna try my Aphonopelma Calcodes. This is the Arizona Blonde. She has been very, yeah, I think she's gonna molt soon. And I've been saying that for like four years now, but like, I really think she will someday. I'm glad she seems interested in food. Since that hornworm is a little small, I'll go ahead and drop another. Oh, I accidentally dropped three. Can I take one? <laughs> I think I, I think I just kind of like got a little two in her face, you know, by dropping three. So I do think she is gonna eat. I just don't think she is going to do it at the moment. All right, I gave her water too. Um. Okay, let's try to feed. My carabina versi color, if she'll allow it. I'm just gonna hold the camera right here. I know it would be really cool if we could catch her eating. Maybe if I just come in from there. Oh, wow. She took that right from my tongs. That's awesome. Yeah, I just, I cannot get very good lighting, but just trust me, she is looking quite beautiful. And I do like this rehousing we did, but she has not started webbing just yet. I do see her out kind of looking around a lot, but she's just, I guess, not ready to start building her web. We have two more. My Ceratogyrus. This one's not the easiest to get out, but she does need to eat. I do see her bum. But yeah, so she's not the easiest to get out. We got a big boy. Oh yeah. Nice. Good for you. We have my Afona Pilma Samai. Oh. I don't have room. Okay, and so before we feed the last one, which is my Aphonopelma Samani female, unfortunately I have some very bad news. So as you guys may recall, I did try to breed my Aphonopelma Samani female and my mature male. The mature male, which I've had for years, he was my first Aphonopelma Samani. Um, so he was really special to me. And unfortunately, as you can probably guess because of what happens to mature males, he actually did pass away. So really disappointing that that happened but anyway I still have my female I guess she's still like a little plump but I guess we could probably give her still just like a little worm like this is not a big meal to her oh there we go <laughs> take this other one live another day but yeah, all right, so yeah, there she is. And yeah, so I think that's everybody that I brought out to feed today, it is. I did wanna put some bloopers in uh, at the end of this video. Normally I show my Patreon pet pics, but I think we're gonna end today's video with some bloopers from the creators who sent me their clips for this video. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you won't be. Don't forget to 
don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. Yes. Oh my god, there's a chipmunk and a squirrel that just chased each other. It was so I'm gonna give you a couple of that's a gummy worm. That's a gummy worm. That was the first one. Then I can be more dramatic, like, that's a gummy worm. I literally have no idea why I'm doing this, but anyways. Um... And final, I can be... Pet Tube has decided they're gummy worms. Was that good? I can be super dramatic with like, I mean, uh, confident. What? Pet Tube has decided they're gummy worms. I don't know what like vibe you're going for here. That's a gummy worm. <laughs> I'm just a little bit less confident. So like, I PetTube has decided that they're gummy worms. PetTube has decided they're gummy worms. PetTube has decided that they are, in fact, gummy worms. Okay. That's a gummy worm. <laughs> you choose. Hopefully one of those was good enough for you. Thank you for having me. That's a Manduka Sexta, or just gummy worm aka the tobacco hornworm. Now when it comes to nutrition values, the gummy worms are at 85% water, 9% protein and 3% fat. Now putting that into perspective, your average dubia roach has more than double the amount of protein and fat, 23 and 7%. So the gummy worms really should be a treat and not the average food when you want your tarantula to grow and stay healthy. Fun fact, these larvae are native to the US and Canada, and therefore you might find them outside. Don't collect them for feeding your pets, because they feed on poisonous plants like tomato and tobacco and accumulate all these toxins inside their body. So there is a risk to potential poison your pet when feeding them with the ones you found in your garden. Why do I film this like being interviewed? There is, there is no one else in this room. <laughs> so it was fun to participate and... Cheers to Richard.